right this time. Tuesday, no Thursday. It is Thursday the 11th of February. It is 8.30 in the morning. I've just been into Razine, which if you're not from New Zealand, is like our paint shop. And um, got some test pots and this one too. Because I am about to go and do some painting. <laughs> do I look like an artist? No. Am I an artist? No. But we're going to give something a go. I did speak about my Instagram stories. So if you saw those, you know where this is going. But I'm going to drive over to my place. I stayed at Owen's last night. Because as you guys know, my parents are currently living at my house. Because they're working here. I've been kicked out. And that's totally fine. So Owen's going to have to work this morning as of like 20 to 8. So I was at his place. I'm going to go around to mine now. And like make a smoothie for breakfast. And just hang out there for the day. I'll explain more when I get there. So so let's drive to my place. <laughs> made it home. It took me quite a while to get here because traffic is a little bit shocking this morning. The traffic, every time I come here in the morning, it gets worse and worse and worse. Obviously, there's more people going back to school and going back to work, but that's fine. I'm going to make a smoothie for breakfast in Morgax's Magic Nutra Bullet. I've got some berries and some milk and some frozen bananas. Uh, no one says bananas. bananas. And uh, some protein yogurt. Oh, what the f Do you guys see this? I'm so sorry, Morgan. I think I just broke your Nutribullet. That's fine. And then, what the heck? Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, don't tell me he's unscrewing. Oh, I got it. Yes, okay, try again. Oh, it's not switched on. Oh, frick, that ain't screwed on properly. Oh, no. Look at it. Oh, no. It's like that TikTok sound. This is supposed to be a cute aesthetic video of me making a smoothie and it's turned to this. Oh my gosh, it's literally going everywhere. We'll just wash the lid and start again. Oh my goodness, do you guys see this? My smoothie is coming out there. This is not, not, not safe. That looks kind of good. Also, I think, if I'm correct, last time I vlogged here, we didn't have curtains. Oh, blinds, sorry. So here's our blinds. For your questions, I did not pay for the blinds. They're like a fixture in the house. So parents, aka landlords, homeowners, paid for the curtains because they all stay in the house forever. The courier just pulled up, but like, is it too forward to just go open the door? Hi. Hello. Sorry, Emma. Yeah, that's me. Are you do the same Yeah, it's all right. Oh, oh it's got water in it. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome, thank you. I know what this is and it's leaked. I'm just gonna have my breakfast and worry about that shortly. <laughs> Hear that noise? I have to put up with that all day every day. They are relaying the concrete next door because the house has still been built. And so they're like grinding away at the concrete. See, I would go to the other end of the house, but what I need to show you is that in here. Anyway, we'll just act like that noise is not there. It may not be as loud for you guys as it is for me right now. I just had the smoothie and read the Bible. At the moment, I am reading, I don't know if I've said this to you guys, but I'm reading the whole of the Old Testament. So I've read the New Testament. I finished that just before the New Year. So I just started the Old Testament as of the end of 2020. And I'm working my way through a Bible plan. I'll put a screenshot of it here so you guys can see. It's just on the Bible app. And I just work my way through the Bible each day. So it's like two or three chapters a day normally. I saw that Savannah LeBrant was doing a similar thing on her day in the life video she did a couple weeks ago. But she was using a different plan to me. Her one was like not reading consecutively. But like you read a bit here and a bit here and like whatever. So there's both two ways you can do that. But... The package that arrived. It is leaking and I think I know what it is. Oh no, that just spilled all over the floor. Skinny fizz! I'm pretty sure it's sugar-free, low-carb fizzy drinks. Yeah, sparkling water and fruit is all that's in them. <laughs> Lime, lemon, raspberry. Wow, there's a lot of them in here. Oh no. That one's a little bit empty. Oh no, it's like a little swimming pool in here. <laughs> okay, these look amazing. I will obviously not try it right now because it's like early in the morning. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? That was the little bit of water on the bag. These look really cool and they messaged me to see if I wanted to like work with them and they like explained what they were. I was like, yes. So you guys know I don't drink alcohol, so any other beverage. I'm about it. Like kombucha, love it. Fancy flavored fizzy drinks, love it. I also got sent another package last night. Well actually, I don't know when it arrived because my next door neighbor is also called Emma and the package got sent to her and then she dropped it off last night. It was like all a big kerfuffle, but I got the package anyway. It had like my address and everything on it. I just think the courier driver must have just put it at the wrong doorstep. So these are pieces that were gifted to me by Eamon. So I'm gonna show them to you guys. First one is these gray leggings. They are like a ribbed material. Very nice. I had to try these on last night and they 
really nice. So I'm an extra small in the tights. They are pretty firm though, so probably like, I'm an extra small slash small. Plain black high support sports bra with the crossover on the back. This is in a size small as well and it's got like ribbing, it's kind of hard to tell but, oh you can just kind of see there, it's like around the front there. Quarter zip pullover, I absolutely love this and it's ribbed. So this is in a small as well, I haven't tried this on either but looks pretty cool. These little bike short things, these are in a size extra small. This is more of like an off-white colour compared to the pullover sports bra which is not a crossover back but very cute and then to go with that these tights which match to make a set which are in a size extra small so yeah pretty stoked about that thank you to Eamon I'm pretty sure I do have a discount code for you guys I don't know off the top of my head but I'll put it on the screen here so you guys can see and I think it's time to get painting hello and welcome to the garage here we have all of my pots This one was from the Salvation Army. These two were from Red Cross. This is actually lampshades, but I feel like if I put some cardboard in the bottom of those, I could make them look like vases. These two, mum had hanging around at home that she no longer wanted. And then these ones here were all from Habitat for Humanity, the restore shop. And then I just got some paintbrushes and some canvases from the $2 shop and then obviously baking soda from the supermarket. So basically what you do is you mix one part baking soda with four parts of paint. I feel like I don't have enough paint. But we're going to give it a go anyway. I probably won't do all of them. I'll probably just do like my favourites. So I have these two canvases here which I'm planning, if this turns out okay, to hang up in my room. These are the four colours I have which match my feature pillow in my bedroom. I've got all my paintbrushes here and I'm just thinking I'm just going to go abstract. Because to buy like a nice abstract piece of artwork can actually be really expensive. So I was like, you know what? There's nothing that a few tool shop canvases and paintbrushes can't fix. So we're going to give it a go myself. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't really know what I'm going for. I'm thinking maybe like a rainbow sort of design on one of them and then something else on the other. But I really don't know. I know you're supposed to prime the canvases before you paint on them. But I don't have any primer. So wish me luck. Let's do this. We did it. I'm oh my gosh. It obviously doesn't look like what it would look like if I'd actually paid for a proper piece of artwork. But I don't know, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. The colours are gonna match so good as well. I think I need to patch that up. Oh no, that's just a light. Okay, no, that's fine. So now <laughs> I have all these. I'm probably not gonna do all of them because I probably won't have enough paint. Goodness, I am so stoked with this. I ended up using, as you would have seen in the time lapse, this little sponge to do it, and I think that that helped with the texture. I don't think I put enough baking soda in that one, but this one I think will turn out a little bit better. I'll leave the masking tape on until it dries. Look at it. Oh my gosh, that texture. Yes. Hi. Hey guys, Morgan's here. Hi. This is what we've done so far. Look at this. So pretty. She's an artist. I was sitting down like, what is it, two hours out? Yeah, literally like, like two knees, hours. Stuff, my knees, like they actually look broken. Like, she was walking around like, I was like, it reminds me of like a duck. <laughs> What's up? So we're currently going to the base. Oh, copyright. We're going to the base to buy Morgan some shoes and pick up some coals for my friends back home because they ordered some coals what for their, like, Stuff they used to power trains in the olden days. <laughs> Made it to the base, parked in the underground. You can probably hear tires screeching, but we're going to Foot Locker, right? Right. To buy yeah. some AF1s from Morgax because she ordered some in November they the and post. they got lost in the post. Two I, actually, later, I actually time. kind of feel like that's code for sorry, we forgot to send them. Literally. Hey. No, no luck, guys. No luck. On to where are we going? The place to pick up to pick up the coals. I don't know where it is. Somewhere. In Tirapa. I'm going, let's go to the car. <laughs> oh we got God. the coal. <laughs> oh, oh right, let's go home. Okay, this is so overwhelming. <laughs> Wait, we need to go home because I can't pick up my dad if the car's with oh, coal. Oh. We dropped the coals that were taking up the whole of the boot at back at home because now we're at university to pick up dad. 
From work. From work. He doesn't work at the university, he's a pharmacist. Yeah. We're now at Mitre 10, we got dad from work and Morgan just bought his shoes online because you had to look and they had them on stock, in stock and online and they just come back in stock. So it was meant to be, but I didn't but get now, them today. We're going to buy screws to put up a clothesline, so let's go. Back at the house, and we're going to try some of the Skeeters drinks. I have the lime, she has the raspberry. They just sent me as well, they have a discount code for you guys, so if you want to try them, you can use the code EMMAS20 to 20% off on the Skeeters website. Oh, wow. It's got like natural little pieces of raspberry in them. Mm. You see that? It's quite nice, it's like refreshing. Yeah, I feel like, you know what these would be good? If you like put them in like an ice block mold? Yeah, like ice box oh, that would really be nice. nice. And you could put like fruit in them as well. Morgan's gone back home, but Dad and I are putting up the clothesline in the garage. We're getting like an extend, like we're putting up an extendable line, which we mean to do since we moved in, but it's only happening today. But as Morgan and I were leaving to go to the base, I've got to show you guys this because it happened as we were leaving. This arrived, not my foot, the box. So that I ordered last night. It's a whole bunch of systemic containers for the kitchen because we already have some, but we wanted more. And they literally arrived here from Auckland in less than a day. Pretty impressive. It is a little bit later on, it's probably a really bad example, but um, washing line is up. The wood that we used was obviously not painted to the colour of the walls, so we had some of the paint for the walls, so we just painted them to match. That's so just drying, and then we'll put this back up again, and I am painting again. So I've done just done this one, and I'm about to do this one in the orange colour. I'll show you guys how I do this. So that's my little pile of baking soda, looks a bit suspect, I know, but it's this ordinary plain baking soda, nothing special. I normally do like a couple of these little scoops, like so. And then I just grab that and just like sprinkle it on. You kind of have to like move it between your fingers because it can be a bit um, lumpy. But then just mix it in. Yeah, that, that definitely needs more. Uh, a little bit more. Then I grab one of these sponges and then just sponge it on. Because the sponging is what gives it, I've found, this texture. Whereas if you just use a plain brush, it just doesn't turn out the same. Inside the lid there, that's what it would look like if I didn't sponge it, because that's I just did that with an oil paint brush. Whereas when you sponge it, it comes out like that. Alrighty, it is 12, oh, the neighbors are watching. It is 12 past eight and I haven't, I haven't been in the garage painting the whole time. But, ta-da! I'm so happy with how these turned out. I don't know if I like how much that looks like a light bulb, so may not use that one. But the rest of them, love. I still don't know if I'm finished with that. I feel like it's a bit boring. I feel like it needs a little something like down here. But I don't know, maybe some orange. Owen is at football training currently, so he should be here any minute now. These are the containers that we bought, so we, were, we currently have some already. This is our little containers thing. So we have like quite a lot already, but they're just really good for like leftovers and stuff. So we bought four more of these and six more of these, and mum's gonna take three of them and two of them, so then she has some at home as well. Also, you guys may remember this from the first moving video where I had to cut the pasta. Well, tonight we're actually gonna use the pasta, so yay. This is how the pasta's going, guys. If you missed the memo, I had to cut the ends off so the pasta would fit. And now I'm paying the consequences for that. He's here. Hi. Hello. How's training? Yeah, good. Yum, yum, yum. Dad's yeah. got mints on toast, but yum. So it's Friday today. We've just come back around to the house because Owen has to pick up his bicycle and bike it back to his house. So Tyler's coming to meet him here and they're going to bike back and I'm going to drive back. But I'm going to close off the vlog here because I need to edit this today to go up tomorrow. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Owen's eating his shapes. He's like, sat on the couch like, I look a little kid who just got home from school. But thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile. And we'll probably both see you in the next video, to be honest. Do you want to cover this thing? Oh, this is worthy of my hair. Actually, no, that might be dog slobber. Oh no! Oh no, it's still recording! <laughs>